see, this is my brain. My brain going at a thousand miles per hour right now. <laughs> Hey, my friends and welcome back to another vlogmas day today is a beautiful day in Atlanta even though it's very cloudy and very foggy so I'm thinking about going to the farmers market because we only have it for one more week and I'll show you guys where it's I mean it's so foggy outside but I think I'm just gonna change real quick run to the farmers market get some coffee and uh, come back i do have to go to the storage unit they got some uh, wrapping paper for you know those boxes that need to be wrapped <laughs> and also have to pull out some logs because right here this hole behind me this hole right here i'm gonna put some fake logs on there hopefully i have time to run some errands but for now let's just go get some coffee come back and do things around the house also i'm gonna change into something a little more comfortable not comfortable but like something a little warmer because it is a little chilly out okay let's go just got back from the farmer's market there was not a lot i was shocked there were maybe like 10 vendors and i asked the guy at the coffee place what happened like if this was like their last week because they said that last next week is their last week and he said that just a lot of the vendors dropped it's like it's probably because of the holiday people leave town they were all just grouped up in this little tiny tent behind the restaurant at first i was like wait are they even here because there was nobody like you saw in the video there was no one there um it was so empty and it's usually like a strip of vendors right anywho i got my coffee uh this brand this is a brand called blue donkey and they're based to my knowledge here in georgia and there's only a couple of locations in the city of atlanta I usually don't drink coffee that's milk-based. Um, this is the only coffee that I'll drink that is milk-based because it is so good. And the one that I always get is like a chocolate coffee something. Oh my God, it's so yummy. Like I said, it's the only milk-based drink that I'll have. Mm, so good. Try to keep it very organized like you see this is a little slanted because this box is heavy but this is where i keep all my spray paint and these are some random tools that actually my mom got from my grandpa and i just keep them here because i don't have a place to put them yet other than that like you can see like everything's pretty much organized in categories or in sections and i do have this side table and a couple of other things up there and i also bought this from ikea and i still have to come down with all the things that go on it like brushes and stuff you know just to put like things up there which will make it easier to access but pretty much for the most part it's organized other than like having this christmas box here because i have another tree however i got this one gifted to me this year and i'm keeping the box just in case i need it to store it back what type of paper do I want to use this year is the question. One thing I love doing every year is like I just buy maybe one or two new rolls of paper and I just keep it in the collection. A lot of it actually, I go to Ikea when it goes on sale and I just buy like a bunch of their stuff that's on sale after the holidays. But this year, I think I want to stick to something a little more traditional. So I do have this really beautiful gold foil paper i got this from anthropology i'm probably gonna say like four years ago and i have two rolls i have two gold ones and a silver one i have two more upstairs i'm gonna use this one 
things will be really pretty. I also, I wanted to do more like a plain one. And I swear I could have sworn that I had a plain one, like a paper bag one, but I guess I don't. Um, I feel like these are a little, a lot right now. And I don't want that. Um, maybe the splat would be pretty also. I think we can do something with the splat. I do like this game. This game is so pretty. But like, I don't know if it goes with the theme. I don't think I'm gonna use this game at all. It is pretty. Hmm. Like, okay, so if we put these three together, do we like that? Do, is this something that's cute? I'm not sure, oh my God. I'm thinking maybe, I really want to do something more like on the dark, on the browns. So I think I just want to get the regular um, brown paper. Like that's almost like a paper bag. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. See, this is my brain. My brain going at a thousand miles per hour right now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab some of the wooden logs for the full fireplace. Okay, let's put this back down. My legs hurt. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Oh, I like this. Nice. Okay, I can definitely use this. Ah, oh, I'm so happy I found it. <laughs> I may need a darker one, but this definitely works. Ta-da! Oh, my logs. <laughs> uh, fun. This is going to be fun. Said no one. <laughs> I actually got these from a friend. She it is so funny because she is one of my old neighbors and she works in like set and props and like that's a bunch of shows. And she said, I have all these logs, do you want them? I'm like, absolutely. So I've had them for years, but I've never really, like I've used them for decor in other places, but like now I'm gonna actually cut them and I'm, I'm excited. So we're gonna work on pretty bad. You have to get creative when you have storage because sometimes you just have to find ways to store things and it's like a Jenga game. Literally, it's like playing like almost a Jenga game. I don't know if all of them. I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna take, that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about eight rolls. I honestly think that's enough. But, um, if I need more, I'll have a couple more here so like I can come and grab more. Okay, put this back. Okay, let me put this back up and then we'll go back upstairs. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I have been wanting to do this forever. Just got all the logs back up here. It's getting very late actually. It's pretty, pretty dark out. I have friends coming over later tonight because we are going to decorate our gingerbread houses. We have these tiny little gingerbread houses and I'm very excited because I have actually never decorated a gingerbread house before. So we're gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna cut the logs right now because I don't wanna make a mess in the house before I have people over, especially because it's gonna create a lot of dust. Anywho, they're gonna come over and I'm gonna show you some little gingerbread decorating. For now, let's just get ready to gingerbread, to decorate gingerbread. <laughs> Where's my ground? Oh, this is my ground. Oh, and these, these flower things are... I believe you're No, it's gotta be in between. Oh, yeah. That's why it's such a move. Oh, 
Okay, my friends, I did not realize that I never filmed an outro for my Vlogmas video for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, help me get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It is my goal and I am manifesting this. Also, boxes. See? Still unwrapped. I promise you all, they will be wrapped. Trust me, they are driving me crazy. But it was a very hectic day. Always remember, the journey is what brings us happiness, not the destination. I love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye.